This is Inside Access. I'm Connor Gregoire, sports editor of The Hoya. I'm here with track beat writers Dave Barron and Ashwin Wadaker. The Big East Championships are coming up this weekend. Guys, who has the best chance to, uh, to place individually this weekend? Well, on the men's side, uh, you got to look to Chris Kinney and Toby Ohm. Chris is going to be running the 60-meter uh, hurdles, and his, he's currently has the best time in the Big East right now, but his biggest competition is Jared Eaton from Syracuse. But Jared's been running unattached all year because Syracuse is thinking of redshirting him. But if they choose to uh, have him run in this event, it's going to be very difficult for Chris to win. Uh, Toby has been running the 800 recently, but he's going to be running the 500 and the 4x400. Um, in the Big East because that's where Georgetown thinks he's got the best chance to place points. Okay, Dave, the women? Sure. On the women's side, um, middle distance is kind of their, their strength again this year. Um, so Rachel Schneider maybe gives them the best chance in whether if she runs the 800, the 1,000, the mile we'll see come, come Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the women's DMR looked uh, strong up at Penn State. They're going to put together a good team and should go right at it with UConn. Uh, on the sprint side, um, you really have uh, Amanda Kimbers, sophomore. She really uh, exploded at the Penn State, ran a 24-second 200. Um, she'll be right in the mix for that. Look for her to do some good things. And London Finley's been coming around, too. So you could see her in the uh, in the 400. Bust a good one, too. Chelsea Cox uh, also has a great season as a freshman under her belt. Maybe look for her in the 500 if they, if they run her in that to, to make some noise there. And Emily Jones in, in the 5K just ran a good one out at uh, the University of Washington with some good competition. So... Yeah, she could be could be due for a win too. Okay, now track obviously individual competition is a key component of track. But as a team, how is Georgetown going to fare? Do you think in the Big East Championships? Well, what's traditionally killed the Hoy is the lack of field events. Um, last year, the men's runners ran particularly strong and finished second to Notre Dame, but they finished in a pretty distant second, and it's going to be very tough for them to knock off Notre Dame again this year. Um, on the women's side, UConn has traditionally been the powerhouse. Um, they finished fifth last year, which is kind of a down year. So look to them to improve. Uh, as far as sleepers go, guys, sure. guys that we might, guys and girls that we think might not, you know, be the most prominent runners coming in, but they still have a shot at, at placing. <clears throat> right. Well, if you look at that that whole kind of men's distance, middle distance, distance squad, a lot of good athletes in there. Might not be at the top of the list right now, but you got a Ye Lute who um, he's probably gonna be running the 3K this weekend. He, he's an experienced four-year talent for the Hoyas. He could he could really do well in the in the three K. Um, also, that the, the next group of guys you got uh, Dylan Sorensen, Bobby Peavy, Ben Furch, Billy Letter, Brian Hankey, all those middle distance guys that could really run. You know, we could see them in the the eight hundred. Some guys like Billy Letter, Brian Hankey. We could see some of them in the thousand, some of them in the mile in the three K. Those guys will be spread out through a lot, and they could uh, they could really do some damage um, in there if they if they get a, a good race in. And I also look for them to team up on the DMR and the 4x8. Uh, they have a, a pretty good chance at, at doing well in those events, too. Uh, on the women's side, uh, go back to Amanda Kimber's. Um, 200 is her event, but maybe in the 60. Uh, she could drop a few seconds there. And uh, that's really what we're looking uh, for the Hoyas. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of names that may not be at the top of the list, but you, you might see some surprises uh, come this weekend. As far as injuries go, who's, uh, who's, on, the, who's on the DL for track this week? Yeah, well, the Hoyas are, uh, they got a lot of their top athletes out. Um, we were, they are kind of hoping that they would get some of them back. Um, some injuries that happened over winter break, that happened early in the season. Um, uh, the men are missing their two big middle distance talents, uh, distance talents, Mark Denon. Um, he's going to be out. And uh, same with Andrew Springer. They are hoping to have him back, and neither of them are going to be running. Uh, on the women's side, uh, Emily Enfeld uh, looks for sure she's going to be red shirting. She'll be out. So there's the Hoyas best runner on the women's side gone right there. Um, some other good runners <clears throat> that were did really well cross country season: Joanna Stevens and um, Maddie Chambers. Both of them probably not going to be running this weekend. Danielle Stoudemire suffered a concussion three or four weeks ago. It looks like she's still out. Um, so the Hoyas are going to be missing uh, a lot of talent. So I think really the coaches are they kind of look at this as you know we're more we have a lot of young talent, a lot of people like a lot of the veterans like Mark Denon. Emily, uh, Emily and Phil, they're out this weekend. So I think they they want to do well, obviously. This is an important meet for Georgetown track and field. But I think it's something to get experience and kind of build momentum going into the outdoor season, hopefully get some of those people back. So unfortunate to have a couple key hoyas out this weekend, but Georgetown is still going to be at the Big East Championships. We'll be back next week to talk about how things went. For Dave Barron and Ashwin Wadaker, I'm Connor Gregoire, sports editor of The Hoya. We'll be back next week. Thanks for joining us.